you must be challenged on the picture that is your most recent with Chris Nolan because he's a great thinker too, and we're all going to listen. I'm mm -hmm. I'm excited about that one. I got to tell you. Yeah, no, we we I'm I'm super excited. I just I finished it. We I wrapped my part a couple of couple of weeks ago. So um, and and yeah, like like I've been so fortunate in my career so to work with like these geniuses and 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 i think that's why it feels so easy for me because you know like you said like if you if you have a conversation it's about a character and what they're going through and and if you're working with the director and artist they can really communicate and explain and give you so many more dimensions to what they're creating it's it's it makes your life so much easier oh, how was how great. was it with uh chris nolan collaborating did he come to your studio um is he musical did you guys you know was he was he telling you emotionally how he wants things to sound or does he know how to speak the musical language absolutely he's he's so um i think you know he he, he can talk so much about music and he I, I, and i understand now that he can talk about costume designs he can talk to actors he can talk to composers the way like he like he's, he's he talks about music like as a composer himself almost like he is his knowledge of music it's it's very deep and um in fact we started i started working with him like uh like three or four months before they started shooting the movie and just by having conversations and meetings once a week. And through those meetings, I started writing music. I read the script and I started writing music and he would, uh, we would meet once a week. I would go to his office and, and we would sit and listen to it over and over and then discuss certain parts of it, what we liked and certain instruments, what we didn't like or what, you know, what he responded to. And I got a really good sense of, of where he was trying to go uh, with the movie. And, um, and I was, it was every every time every meeting we had, I was just more and more impressed by his his deep musical knowledge. And and you know, I played him music that inspired me. He played music that inspired him. Uh, and it's funny. I was I remember one of our one of the scoring sessions we had uh, with the orchestra in in LA. I think it was at Warner Brothers. No, it was at Fox. I think um, he had. Uh, we were recording some brass and strings and I was, I was like in the middle of listening and rec like recording and, and we, we stopped the music and I had a note to the horns. I was like, Hey guys in 20 measure 23, uh, third horn, I think was a little flat. And then I heard a voice in the back and it was actually Chris. I thought Chris was talking to someone. I, th I didn't think it was listening, but Chris was like, actually Ludwig, I think it was measure 17. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Checkmate. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. beautiful. 